We talk forever on that one. That's a good we song. Have... Ah! Welcome back to Audio Lunch. I'm Matt. This is Justin. On today's menu, we have a brand new Beatles song we are going to listen to the, for the first time ever. Exciting. Can yeah. you believe it? We have a new Beatles song. And I know you're thinking, because I was thinking, actually, I told Matt this. I said, no way, dude. It's not a real Beatles song. It is, though, because uh, the way this came about, and I'll just make it short because I don't know too much about it. Back in the 90s, when they were coming out with their anthology, they released a couple songs, but Yoko had given them a tape that she had found of John's demos that had this song kind of uh, on it, and they were still working on it at the time, obviously. Multi-tracked, yeah. And, um, but now, with the technology that had come out, they were able to separate the voices and the instruments, so uh, let's check it out. Uh, I'm super excited. So without further ado, the song is called Now and Then by the Beatles. Hmm. Is that a four track? No. Nah. So that is modern time. I think that's Paul actually re-recording his voice right now. And I want to. And I'm curious. Uh, first of all, when you were when you were seeing that analog meter hit uh, about positive three dB, yeah, the volume above, meter above zero. That uh, that's analog recording. We don't have that this day and age, but that's what gives the Beatles that warm sound that you would hear on a record or just mm -hmm. we, we, we lose with the digital CDs and or streaming platforms. So that was cool to see. Um, yeah. Cause this originally restarted to reshape in the nineties and they worked on it off again, but they couldn't do anything because they're like, Oh man, I can't pull his piano and his vocals. But now they have the technology to separate everything. That's when they went ahead and started to finish this track. Right, because with AI now, you can literally put a song, any song, and it will give you the drums, the guitar, the vocals, everything separated in what we call stems. Yeah. Um, so you can hear each one independently. Um, right. So after, they, after AI and technology's been able to do that, which has only been, what, not even a year, right? Maybe or a so. couple. A year and yeah. a half. Yeah able to do that this is really cool and that mic yeah. right there is um u87 u87 yep yep Funny feeling they were adding this some is digital. Crazy. Uh, that is nuts. Wow. That's very cool. Dude, I'm tripping Eerie. out right now. And you know what's cool, what's cool about um their kids, they were saying how, you know, their dads would definitely approve of a lot of people are purist and would say, No way would I ever want technology to be but the Beatles were all about that. Yeah. Oh so the fact were... the fact that the Beatles are the first to market, the first to come to 
to, and do this kind of stuff. I mean, what's going to be next? We're going to have we're going to have all kinds of music coming out from all, you know, you name it. The people yeah. that have died, the famous the famous people that have died at 27, Kurt Cobain, uh Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, um uh um help me out here. Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison. Um all, all of a sudden now I think the doors are going to be open. I mean, if the Beatles did it then I think it's okay for everybody else to. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not into the full AI experience of, hey, you can sound like somebody. This is actually right. different. No, right. I, I, they, the only AI that they use is to separate the tracks. Yeah. They didn't use an AI to make it sing. Right. So they're actually playing all the instruments. Everyone recorded their own instruments. It's just that they were able to separate, them. extract, but it's not saying typing in, say, make it sound like John Lennon. Right. Yeah. Okay. But by the way, this but people is, will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is what there, I'm there are people that do is that. What I'm saying. But this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. They were true pioneers at technology that, because definitely. think about when they started came out with multi track recording, like with uh, Sergeant Peppers. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they pretty much uh, they caused the Beach Boys to scratch their whole album. Yeah. Yeah. And start over. Yeah. It's true. Wow. It's all because so of you. I'm actually really digging this song. Me too. And if you go I might have to sample it. Sir Paul. I might have to sample it using AI. Uh... Sorry, but this is this is literally changing. This is going to change music again. The the fact that they were able to bring, I mean, because for people that are younger, yeah, I mean, even even like we didn't experience the Beatles, but no. we, we've seen many, especially you and I and others, we've seen countless uh, footage. Yeah. Never seen them live. Some of you have. We have never seen them live. No, we've seen a lot of footage of them live, but. Never seen them live. That's all we have. But for the younger crowds, for them to even be able to just see, just um, him acting goofy. How he, how they the characters just, of themselves yeah, is yeah. so great. I think it's great. They were Whoever crazy put this characters. together. Props. We we should um, we give credit yeah. below in the uh, description to who, wow. uh, who edited this video and put this together. This is this is great. This is great. I like the song. And if I make it through, because yes. Wow. That's the beginning right there. Studs. Handsome fellas. The British take over. Hold on. I want to hear that breakdown again. Wow. Yes. That was awesome. 
Dude, a new Beatles song, and it's actually really good. I feel like that a lot more of that kind of stuff is going to come. Wow. Unbelievable that they were able to do that. This is This song is technically 33, no. Well, 33 years in the making from the first time that they got the tapes from Yoko. But think about when they probably recorded it in the 70s. Talk about timeless. That's a 60-year-old song in the making. See, this, this is... They've people get upset about technology and music. Wow. People get upset about sampling and all these things and hip hop music and things of that nature that ruin music. It, it didn't. Mm -mm. Here's a perfect example of, again, the Beatles, again, using technology to enhance the music. That song is great. It had feeling. Uh, I mean, and with the, all the strings that they added, it just brought so much emotion. Yeah, And like watching them being how quirky and funny they were. That was cool. That was so cool. That was cool. Wow. I am so stoked that there is a new Beatles song out there right now in 2023. Yeah. No, that's, that's crazy. Uh, I mean, they haven't played together since like 70. I, I feel like I just saw the new video. It, it is. A new I mean, video. I, I know. <laughs> I, I mean, that's a new. I, I'm. I'm digesting it i mean this is only a couple days old at the time of us recording this right now yeah yeah that's why i wanted to, to check it out because I, I wanted to hear it but i wanted to give our, our first reaction to actually hearing it here so i love yeah. it well hope you guys got full on your lunch break brand new beatles stoked audio lunch peace audio lunch. check you next time peace